Hey guys, welcome back to Nevada Simodia of Rondas. We are going to be making a brand new drone today. We are going to be heading out to this new area here. We have two spots we can visit. We can visit uh, up here and uh, in the Wakama system or we head down this way and see what these are all about. There's a sumo arena looks like. Um, there is a planet here. Let's see what this one's about. Let's see what kind of mission we want to do today. So this one is destroy snake eggs. Oh man, watch out for mama snake. And uh, it looks kind of a cool lush plant with trees on it little villages that's kind of interesting um what's the other pl what are the other missions around here so there's this planet here travel and this is collect metallic bio barrels now we've not done this kind before but i saw somebody stream earlier today and i got an idea of what you would need for this kind of thing it's basically these little metallic barrels that are scattered around the map that we pick up they're kind of fragile uh, and we need to get some type of way to collect them now our old one is not going to work i redefined it just a little bit you'll see here but I think we'll make a brand new drone for this. And we'll start from scratch. And this time I'd like to make a drone that is a WASD drone. Meaning that it's perfectly uh, up, down, left, and right. Rather than using the kind of like a flight mechanic where you're turning left and right. This one will stay centered uh, the whole way through. So for that we just need thrusters on all four sides. That will be uh, controlling the directionals. And I think what we'll do is I'll do four thrusters on each side here. Okay and we'll reconnect those to better in a second here. So let's add in some fuel. Uh, let's see. Fuel tanks. Let's use the big ones. I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess the small ones replenish faster. So if you do sm two small ones instead of one big one, that might work better. Just need more of them, though, to get the same amount of fuel. Um, maybe what we should do is add in some type of base to connect this to first. So let's put in, like, a thing around it. We'll connect everything off of those. Make it nice and solid. And then we'll have a connection with some batteries here. That should be plenty of fuel. And then what I'll do is I'll throw in another shield right there too. Throw in some shields here. We'll fix these up with some proper controls here in a little bit. There, that works nicely. And then um, now we can just do a quick test flight on that and make sure we're flying okay. It's pretty fast. I want a little bit more speed going upwards because we're going to do a lot more off the planet stuff that's gonna be tough to fight that is to fight gravity so maybe a little bit more down here and we'll set these to uh w just because i know fighting gravity with these things can be sometimes tough so we'll do that and that should get us a little more speed going upwards but and downwards will be a little slower left and right will be about the same okay now you'll notice as i go though it's starting to rotate a little bit so what i would like to do then is add in a a gyroscope so that these can not um, get off kilter here. So let's go with a mechanical part. No, we need a sensor. And I'll put a gyroscope in here. And what that does is if it gets leaning too far to this part here, it's going to go, we're going to set it to E. And if it gets too leaning too far to the way here, it's going to go Q. And then we'll set these with some alignment rockets here, set to Q. And set to E. And then if I start giving off kilter, we'll put them like right here actually. Like that. And we'll connect it to the sensor even. And so then we go E. And if it gets off kilter, it, it reactivates that thing. Gives a little force so it doesn't it doesn't fall off there. See how that's kicking in as soon as we get a little bit too off off center here? It's perfect. Alright, so then. We need to add in our collection. So next we'll add in our mechanical part. Yes. We'll add in a magnet. This magnet we can toggle on and off and we'll connect it to like right there. And we'll put it right at the bottom here. And that will let us, we'll set up some logic for that here in a minute and that'll let us turn it on and off. I'm going to set the two like uh, H and repel to like a uh, Y. And so then we press H. That'll connect on and that'll start attracting things to it. Then um, I'm going to set up some logic for that so that when we toggle it, it doesn't, we don't need to keep holding it down. So we're going to say switch and we'll put it like right here ish. I'll we'll say toggle is space and we'll say that sets to H then. So we put toggle and it toggles it on. Perfect. Next, unassigned keys. Okay, so we need to set up a toggle for our shields. Set up a toggle for that. 
We'll set a toggle for control and set it to T. And we'll set these shields for T. Then when we toggle that on, it'll activate shields. With control, and that covers everything, just about. Next, we need to add in some guns. Very, very important to have guns. Uh, let's go with... I made up some lasers off camera here. I'm going to go with a bunch of lasers. So we're just going to add in... Um, lasers here. I'm going to connect them to some of the, the random parts here. I'm going to put in... Let's go with like 20. I tend to not add enough guns on. I always regret having not enough guns. So I'm going to add on, make sure I have a lot of guns this time. That way when we encounter something, there's no question whether we're getting out of it alive or not. Like rockets up top here too, because why not? Set those to two, or set those mouse button to one. And these the rest of these will be just to follow my cursor. Beautiful. All right, let's give it a try here and take it for a test flight with our uh, carry drone. Let's just call it carry. All right, there we go. So here we go with carry. And we got to collect the metallic orb. So this is going to be pretty good. It's a little slow so far. Oops. Get the shields up. I don't know if the shields do any good on these kind of guys. Oh, they're going to... Don't blow up my thing, please. Don't blow up the thing. There's our barrel. Oh, there's two barrels. Oh, that's good. Let's see if we can get a uh, connection on that. Oh, there's barrels. There's four barrels right here, right next to the depot. That's awesome. So same thing as the other, uh, other resources we collect. We just bring them on over here. Bombs away. We got one of five. Now, I might be able to get two right here. And I might have to mine just a little bit here. I'm going to protect just a little bit here. Uh, we got it. Yes. Get two of them. Nice. Hopefully, they don't collide into each other too much. And we don't break anything on the way up. There we go. Nice. Threading that needle. I love it. Did we lose any rockets? Looks like we lost something there. Cool. That's three of five already. Did we lose something over here? We lost uh, two of our fuel, actually, it looks like. And we'll have to be... I'm going to slow down a little bit here. My fuel is falling pretty quickly here. I'm going to get down to these last couple... Oh, we got two right over here. So let's avoid... Yeah, let's get, wait for that guy for a second here. We'll come back for him in a second. Yeah, so you can see we're a little bit slower, too, because we're not activating all of our, uh... Some of our, some of our thrusters went away already. I'm gonna put the shields up here once we get close to this dude. I deactivate that. We gotta get back out of here now. Alright. We got it! Not a bad little carry drone. Could be improved a little bit. I think the speed is a little low right now. We'll have to keep working on that. Refining the speed. It got heavier, I think, is the, with all the guns on there, maybe. Or also, maybe just the uh, the thrusters dying here is what, what did it. But we got what we need. Mission complete. Now, the only thing we don't have is a way to collect more resource. We do need some more resource to get some new things unlocked. Um, it might be a good idea to do that. Oh, there's another barrel here. Uh, I'm not going to get any more barrels. But getting some more resource would be good. I should have put some uh, collection of those on here. Um, for that to be for the next model. That'll be for the next model we do. So let's uh, exit out, I think. Leave planet. How many did we get there? We got three. Three uh, triangles. That's awesome. Okay, so let's go to another planet here. What's this guy all about? We have a destroy transmitter. Transmitter disrupting the functionality of your drones. Find it and put it out of commission. Okay, so... Carry's no good there. Eagle's the next one here. And I think I want to build a new drone for this too. This was a good starter here. I uh, added some more guns onto it, so it's a little fancier. And I changed the wings around a little bit, so it's less eagle-like in general here. But we'll keep the eagle name. Um, what I would like to do is uh, let's get a new kind of drone here. What I want to do is play around with a new block that's added in this update called the factory block. And what that does, it's very fascinating. What it can do, if I can find it, is if you connect anything to the factory block... This block can replicate it. So what I would like to do is I want to do like just a basic model of our, our of our, our drone here. I want to do a basic drone here. I just want a very, very basic drone here. I'm just going to do the same WASD kind of ship here. And what I would like to try doing 
And we'll set up some nice batteries on here. We'll set up a good, good number of batteries. What I'd like to do is have a, a, a dock ship here. That will, um, this will be a drop ship basically and re-replicating re new ships every single time one dies off. So I want to have these like tiny little agile fighters and this thing's just going to sit here and, um, and just sit here and just hang out and its only job here is going to be producing more fighters for us. That's what his job's going to be. So as I was saying, we set this to like... We set this to replicate and decouple on, let's say, Q. Let's say 1. Print on 2. Ready to print on 3. Oh, this is a, this is a trigger, actually. This one is a, this is a download information. This is ready to print. This is sending upload information to start another system of uh, things here. I'm going to leave that maybe just as 3. It doesn't really matter, though. So then, what we're going to do from here is I'm going to draw a new drone here and it's going to be an entire drone connected to this thing here so we'll have a nice little sleek little fighter here we'll connect it to here and we'll have it with some guns on here actually what we can do we can make like a kamikaze kind of thing and have it like just be a bomb and uh have it launch with some thrusters here it's going to need fuel on it um it's going to need a way to turn left and right so we'll put some directionals on it here. So we'll set this to uh, W. We'll set this to A. We'll set this to D. So D should go that way. Well, no, I want this to be D, right? And I want this to be A. Got to think about the right direction here. So that's our little bomb ship here. We need to have some fuel on there. We need to have it be able to select, uh, uh, receive controls. So we need to have a little decoupler thing on there. Where is that? Uh, wireless sensor, logic splitter. No, no, uh, logic connector. That's what we need. Have that be the base thing here. Everything connect to that. Now let's just do a little test flight here. So we'll take press Q to decouple. Oh, one to do a couple. There we go. I, have, I think it's going the wrong way. Okay. So we got to make sure we set these to something else. And then we'll do mostly of our, most of our direction is going to be on here. Now, what we also want to have is a uh, sensor here. Not a sensor. We want to have a toggle, a switch that sets a camera. Let's do control. Let's do a camera as T. And then we need a camera block that will let us keep track of where our ship is going is it under here camera tracker that's what we need so we set this to here and then we'll set that to t and then when we decouple it let's decouple it we can set it to press control so it's off center that's why it's spinning around in circles we need to like improve that a little bit and we're gonna we gotta improve the overall design of it. <laughs> we just blew ourselves up with that one. Um, so we need to get these symmetrical first of all here, and let's connect some guns to that too. So it's a, a kamikaze torpedo that we control and then explode with, uh, let's say, space bar. All right, test flight. All right, so take a couple. Let's go in the wrong direction. Yeah, that's the but that's what messed up. That's okay. We'll fix that here, and we'll press Control to make sure our camera follows that. And then when we get close, we just go boom and blow up something, and then we go back, and we make a new one, just like that. And we got a little extra piece there that doesn't connect to anything. We'll fix that though. All right, back to editor. All right, so that's it. So this is our little mini drone here. This thing is going to replicate it whenever we press the buttons for it. I think it's button two. And then uh, we'll press one to detach it. And then we can press control to activate the camera on it. And we can follow this guy around. If he blows up, not a big deal. Let's do it. Let's do it. I want to get in there and try it. So this is the, the, the mini drone factory. All right, let's try it. All right, 
decouple, control. Let's get out there on the hunt. Take our little guy around and see what he can do. This guy's just going to sit up there and float. We can keep him elevated here whenever we need to, but this guy's just going to go on the prowl. He's a little slow. He's a little slow. I want this guy to be a little faster. I think we'll add some more thrust onto him here. But that's okay. Works for now. He's on the hunt for some enemies. And if he gets blown up or wants to kamikaze something, that's just fine. So we're here to destroy the enemy, enemy, the energy transmitter or transmitter, not energy transmitter, just destroy the transmitter. So we're on the hunt for that. If we encounter enemies that destroy us, no big deal. See, not a big deal. We're, we're back over here. We got to go back up here a little bit. Let this thing grow up a little bit. And then we'll just press two to print. There we go. This one, one to detach. Control to follow it. And now we can go. So we can see there's a little piece of our ship right there. That's where we died. This guy's just going to, this guy's just going to float into there. Now, the only thing I don't know about how this is going to react is if our camera is still active on the old ship, if it won't uh, detach and let us follow the new one. Definitely need this guy to be a little faster and sleeker. This is a pretty slow kamikaze mission. Pretty slow. And it didn't have really have enough firepower to deal with any of the enemies over there. But I could get in and destroy that transmitter pretty easily, I think. All right, got one thing down. Rockets work nicely on those guys. Let's get in there and blow it up. I didn't like that. Okay. Uh, let's get this back out of here again. I'm liking it. No, we're kind of stuck. Oh, our thing's upside down. Well, we can print. And we can use this to get away. We can use this to pull it along, actually. Pull it back out into space. Detach. And follow it along. Now, I don't know if the kamikaze uh, bomb here is doing much for the transmitter, but it is a nice thought. It is kind of a cool thing. I don't know how we can improve it beyond this. But the idea is solid. I think the idea is very, very solid. It's got to make this guy a little faster. Here we go. Got it. Nice. Mission accomplished, little drone. Well done. You deserve a heartfelt explosion. There you go. Enjoy. Very cool. That worked out okay. Except for a little thing here falling into the into the thing, but that's it's perfect little pocket. It'll stay perfectly safe in there. Uh, let's exit back out. And uh, yeah, I think I think what we need to do next time is make sure we have all of the resource collecting stuff on our ship. That is going to be a big factor for progressing here for sure. And uh, It'd be kind of cool to make sure we get everything. Maybe like a little collecting little drone like that. Oh, you know what I could do? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, if I did like multiple little drones here. So I have like one, which is like the attack drone. I want to add this guy, make him a little faster right away here. Uh, I can have one that's like the attack drone, one that is going to be the um, like collection drone. And I can have each rep replicator tied to a different one. And we just have a whole thing tied to like a little like satellite ship like this. Guy's a little ugly, but it's okay. It's, it's kind of neat, actually. I kind of like it. Let's go back out and make sure he's going to be fast enough now. The mini drone factory. Still very, very cool. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back for another episode of this soon. Uh, if you're watching this on Thursday when it comes out, go to the Steam store tonight, and uh, I'll be on the Steam store streaming on the Nibata store. So you can check out the game off for yourself there. And uh, I'll be streaming for a few hours on their uh, their uh, page. 
So check it out for yourself. That'll start about 9 o'clock-ish uh, Central Time, 8.30 Central Time. For, go for a couple hours after that. Should be a lot of fun. Never did anything like this before. Could be pretty interesting. Hope you guys show up and uh, cheer me on with some new Nimbata stuff. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time for more. Have a good night.